Hello boys and girls. For this video, you will need a couple of things. You will need your dry erase board, your dry erase marker, and your little eraser. So can you get those things for me? Pause the video and go get those and then come back and see me so that we can do some things together. Okay, to begin with, Go ahead and take the lid off of your marker and we are going to work on just making our lowercase in. Remember, to make our lowercase in, we're going to dive down, then we're going to swim up and over and down. Try that one more time for me. Dive down, swim up and over and down. Nice job. Go ahead and erase those, and in makes the n sound, like we hear in man. Man ends in I the in sound. What we're going to do is listen to some words that I say. You're going to repeat them, and if they end in the n sound, you're going to write the letter in on your board. Ready? Here's the first one. Listen. Fan. Fan. Say it with me. Ready? Fan. Did you hear that N at the end? It's really short. Go ahead and make your letter in. Dive down. Swim up and over and down. And give yourself a smiley face for hearing that in. Now, here's another one. Play. Play. Does play have the n sound in it? Say the word with me. Ready? Play. No, it does not. Give yourself a smiley face because you know that play does not have the n, the n sound in it. Here's the next one. Pan. Pan. Say it with me. Ready? Pan. Does pan have the n sound? Yes, at the very end. Make your lowercase n. Dive down. Swim up and over and around. And give yourself a smiley face. Because you know that pan ends in the n sound. Here's another one. Are you ready? Are you listening? Sun. Sun. Say it with me. Ready? Sun. Does sun end in that n sound? Did you feel that little tingle at the end of it when you made that n? Okay. Go ahead and make your lowercase n. Dive down. Swim up and over and down. And give yourself a smiley. I have three more to do with this, and then we'll do something else. Listen to the next one. Doll. Doll. Say it with me like you're going to shut a doll. Ready? Doll. Did you say that n sound? No, we didn't say it. Give yourself a smiley face because you knew that that did not have the n sound in it. Here's another one. Are you listening? Train. Train. Say it with me. Ready? Train. Good job. Did you say that n sound at the end of it? Yes, you did. Make your lowercase n. Dive down. Swim up and over and down. And give yourself a smiley for that. Here is the last one. Is your listening ears on? Are they on really good? Listen. Plan. Plan. Like I have a plan for us to meet sometime. Ready? Say it with me. Plan. Okay. Did you hear that n at the end of it when you said plan? Make your lowercase n. Dive down. Swim up. And over and down and give yourself a smiley for doing that. So we had one, two, 
three, four, five words that began in the letter N. And how many smileys do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We had seven smileys. Okay, go ahead and put these down. You won't need those anymore. And I am going to get my magnetic board out here and my magnetic letters. And we are going to work on blending some words. Remember this little thing? All right, let me get my letters out here that I need. This is the letter N. N makes N sound. This is the letter A. A makes the A sound. And this is our lowercase p. P makes the p sound. So we have N, A, P. Listen how I blend those. Ready? N, A, P. Did you figure out what the word is? Nap. Now, Watch what happens if I take nap and I take the A away and I put an I there. We still have N. We have I because I makes the I sound. And we have P. Nip. Nip. So by changing the middle letter, by changing the vowel A to the vowel I, we made a whole new word with a whole new meaning. Nap and nip doesn't have anywhere near the same meaning, does it? Watch what happens if we flip them around. We're keeping the same letters, but we're going to change them. We're putting the P in front, and we're putting the N last. The P makes the P. The I makes the E. And the N makes the N. Let's blend it. Ready? Try it with me. Pin. Pin. Like a pin that hooks things together. Good job. Now we're going to take pin. And we're taking the P away. But we're keeping the rest of it. We're keeping the N. And we are putting the letter T in front. Do you remember what sound T makes? It's the Tony the Tango Zephonic sound. T makes T. t. So we have T. N. N. Tin. Tin. And that's like the metal that people sometimes put on the roofs or on the side of their buildings. That's not the number 10. It's still foot. This is tin, like the sheets of metal that people use. I'm going to change something. I'm taking my I away, and I'm putting a dual foot vowel in. I'm putting the A in now. And now we have t a n. Let's blend it with me. Ready? Tan. Tan. So by taking the I away and putting the A in, we changed it from a sheet of metal to a collar word. Isn't that neat how changing one letter changes the whole word? Okay, we're going to take this T away, and we're going to put the uppercase in there now. Now it is someone's name. Let's see what we can figure out. It has two ends that make n in it. Ready? N, a, n. Let's blend it. Nan. Nan. Sometimes some people call their grandmother Nan or Nana or Nanny. So that is the word Nan in the name Nan. Thank you for joining me on our phonics today. I hope you have a great rest of your day.